I like to pretend that I'm exercising while I play video games using a setup where I literally have to walk in place to move forward in the game, and this is how I do that. This setup requires three things. A PC, a phone, and your legs. Well, I guess your legs are two things. Unfortunately, as of making this video, this is only on Android, but I've been using this app on an old Motorola phone from like 2016, and it still works perfectly fine. So if you really want to try this, get an old Android phone from a friend, or get the cheapest one online you can find, and it will probably work. So basically how this works is you turn on the app and stick your phone in your pocket, and you turn on the desktop app, and when you walk in place, it presses W for you to walk forward in a PC game. It's that simple. You can test the app before purchasing it, but a lifetime license is like five bucks. There are some particular things when it comes to using the app, so stay tuned for that information. So you want to make sure you download both the Android and the desktop app, links in the description. First of all, make sure that your Android phone and your desktop are on the same network. The first time you start up the desktop app, it'll give you a QR code to scan. And as you might expect, you open up the Android phone and you scan the QR code on your computer with your phone. Now on the Android app, you can actually have three different step counts showing up on the app, which correspond to the numbers that show up on the desktop app. And so that's either how many steps you've taken today, how many steps you've taken since you've opened the app this time, or how many steps you've taken total. On the desktop app, there's like this slider that basically corresponds to how quickly you have to move in real life in order for you to move in the game. And so if you just want to casually walk in place, then you can move the slider all the way to the right, but that does mean there's a little bit more of a delay for when you stop walking in real life and when your character stops moving in the game. So if you want less of a delay and you want it to be more responsive, you have to walk faster or kind of like jog in place, which is what I prefer. The reason that I'm putting a headband around my leg is that it keeps the phone in place. I have found in my testing that it works better when my phone is facing forward and like down. So I use the headband to just kind of keep everything right there. And obviously this is especially helpful if you're wearing like loose pants or shorts. You can also use the desktop app to disable pressing W on your keyboard at all. I don't tend to do this because there is a little bit of a bug where if you close the app while you have your W key disabled, it will just kind of disable your W key so you have to go into your task manager and like kill the, the application and sometimes that doesn't even work so you have to like restart your computer or log out and log back in so just it might be useful while you're getting used to playing games like this to keep it disabled so that you don't press W but for me at this point I never use it anymore and now you're off hey if you like what you're seeing so far be sure to like and subscribe I will say this setup works best with like a standing desk with a typical keyboard and mouse but you can also do this with a controller but with a controller the one thing you have to keep in mind is since it's pressing W, you're gonna have to use some sort of a software that like remaps your controller buttons to like your keyboard presses. Whenever I'm doing this, I like to use my Joy-Cons, and so I just use Steam's built-in Steam input and their controller remapping software, primarily because it's free and I like to do other wacky things where I have to like swing my arms around to attack or aim with the gyroscope. I've been live streaming with this setup on here and on Twitch, so be sure to follow along if you're into that. Also because a large part of my setup is using my wacky Steam controller setups. I will be also sharing guides as to how I set up those Steam configurations and sharing those publicly. If you want to see me try this setup with a variety of different games or see how big a world map is using this setup and seeing, you know, something crazy like how many steps it takes to walk across the world of Skyrim, then let me know what kinds of things you're interested in seeing me try this with. And if you made it this far and you want to try this out yourself, be sure to join my Discord where I'll be giving out codes for using this app because the developer has very graciously given me a bunch of codes to give out. Join my Discord and let me know you want a code and I'll give it to you. Probably, unless like a thousand people tell me, then I probably can't do that. But I could probably do like a hundred. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Keep walking. I don't know. Something outro.